Kobe has said years and years and years and years over and over and over that Magic Johnson is one of the guys they always looked up to. So, you know, whether Kobe is more loyal to Rob Palinka than Magic Johnson, okay, that's fair. He probably is. That's maybe his best friend on this planet. And we know that Rob Palinka and Magic Johnson had a bit of a power struggle. But to suggest that that carries over to Kobe and he's trying to pit himself against a fellow Laker legend, I think is misguided. All right, thanks so much, Dave McMenamin, for joining us and giving us that perspective on the Lakers. All right, so this is fascinating. So I, that was not exactly what I was expecting to hear, but I'm actually glad that we yeah. did because at least mm -hmm. it makes some semblance of sense. It makes the Lakers feel a little bit less completely dysfunctional because otherwise you have a Game of Thrones working where you got Kobe Bryant on one side and Magic Johnson on the other. Not only can't that work, but there isn't any obvious reason why anyone would be in on it. Richard Jefferson, you have a skeptical look on your face. No, why no, 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 is no. That? That, that's it. I'm just waiting for the next topic, what we're going to talk about. That's all. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I don't have no, I, this. No, I, 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 I believe everything that, that Dave said. I believe everything that Stephen A said. I think this was a TMZ thing that that Lance just kind of popped off and said, and we're addressing Why it. does Lance, I mean, was there any obvious reason why Lance would say that if it isn't the case? It's tough sometimes when you get caught off guard like that. And, you know, I know some guys that can't chew bubble gum and walk, and it's certain situations like that when people just come out and you just get in a, a tough situation where you just say pretty much anything or the first thing that comes to your mind. So you have to get your thoughts together before so the first thing that you make came a bold to, comment. So the first thing that came to Lance Stevenson's mind was Kobe Bryant was at all of our practices. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you the first thing that comes to my mind, will he be a Laker next year? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. But that isn't, that isn't really what we wanted to talk about here because we can describe, we can, we can get into all, at the end of the day, I think McManaman just did a really good job of, of, of making this what it is. There's clearly a power struggle between Magic Johnson and Rob Palenka. Mm -hmm. Kobe is very clear close to Palinka, and so he is sort of set up as being on that side. Maybe there isn't a Cold War between those two Laker icons. Fine. It then begat a debate in our meeting yesterday that got so heated, we decided <laughs> we needed to bring it on the air. And Karan Butler, I'm going to start with you. Who is the greater Laker icon, Magic Johnson or Kobe Bryant? I have to say Kobe Bryant. Why? And I, I say this for numerous reasons. I, I look at his global impact and what he's done and meant to the game of basketball. Also look at his tenure with the Lakers, you know, having two jerseys retired there, scoring over, you know, 33,000 points in that, in that stint. I just think it's remarkable what he's been able to accomplish. Five championships, closest thing to Michael Jordan I've seen. Who, el who at this table is Team Kobe in this debate? I am. Tell me why. Five championships, I know Magic had five. Magic won all five with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I know you can make a case for Magic in that one where he, he jumped because when Kareem didn't play in that final. Kobe won uh, three with Shaq, two without Shaq. He almost got a third one without Shaq. And when you think about what it comes out, ESPN does a poll as far as popularity. I think popularity is the best metric for who an icon is. And they refresh it every three months. The top four basketball players in the world that have the most popularity, MJ, LeBron, Stephen Curry, Kobe. Guess where Magic ranks? 24th. Oh, so you're talking about all the current day players? Like, like, and, and then Michael Jordan, who is the is, is it, isn't, You said iconic. Uh, okay, guys. Isn't guys, that what iconic guys, let's, means? Let's, let's, the, well, okay, then, an, then answer me a couple of questions, right? Kobe Bryant, all-time great. Kobe fans, don't go crazy. Kobe Bryant, all-time great. Magic Johnson is widely known, and no one here would disagree, as in saving the NBA. Magic Johnson here is widely known as the greatest point guard to ever play the game. Magic Johnson, everyone here would agree, is also known as changing the point guard position. When you talk about those three things and we're like, oh, championships and this and that, that's fine. But the impact on the game of basketball that Magic Johnson had, that is disrespectful to one of our forefathers and a guy that none of us might not be in this position if he hadn't done with him and Larry Bird, hadn't done, we might not be here. So to say that, oh, well, how many points? And Dude, they were both great, but Magic Johnson is one of the most important sports figures in the history of America. Go, DJ. Like we and compared them to Sam Bowie or something. Mine is very simple. You went from Dr. J to Magic and Bird, okay? And Magic and Bird carried the NBA, the for two guys, for a decade into the Michael Jordan era. Can Keep we, can, can we say, can we say, Kobe Bryant took the NBA from one point to another? As no. great as he was. I, I can't say that, but I can say, who's the most iconic figure ever to play basketball? Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Michael who's Jordan. the closest thing you've ever seen to Michael Jordan? 
Ah, uh, no, that's Who's that, the closest know, thing you've ever greedy. seen in Michael that's Jordan? That's 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 does that's it not fit that way a little bit, but though? But, it, but you, and you always play for the respect of your peers. Okay, and I look yeah. at the 33,000 points that Kobe scored. And I'm going to look. Check this out. Take your time. All right, it's me, Kobe. Kobe had 30. Uh, 30 points, average 30 points per game, 16. I average 16. That was yeah. our thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got about 7,000 his points. <laughs> he averaged like 28 against you. You average six. <laughs> Richard Jefferson, he averaged 24, 24 against you. You averaged 12. Okay. RJ, same thing, 28, 10 points. Yeah. yeah. And y'all didn't get none of that work. No, no, but <laughs> what? Here, here's, here's the part. Go ahead. Man, how many times did he beat me? So you play for respect in your peers. How many times did he beat me? I understand what you're saying about magic. See, but the only thing I'm saying is not that his his greatness. He is all time. He is. He is. But again, we're talking about the best point guard of all time and probably the second best two guard. We're talking. You're yes, saying yes, second best yes, two guard. Yes. So, but my only thing is we're going to talk about who has changed the NBA, carried it. The NBA was having tape delayed yeah. NBA finals. And now here we are talking about it 24 hours a day and it's one of the most watched things in America. That would not have happened if it wasn't for Magic and Larry Bird that started off in the NCAA. Kobe is great and unfortunately what? we have to hold it against them that all he did was continue to carry the torch. Why do you keep saying Magic Johnson is the greatest point guard all the time? It's not LeBron James? LeBron no, James is not no, a souped-up version no, of Magic? No. Really? Not, LeBron's not a souped-up version James of Magic? Not, uh, LeBron James is the greatest small forward to ever play the game. Greatest Magic, small Magic. forward. LeBron James is a point guard, bro. Can, can we just sort of make sure that we're framing this the right way? If we're talking about all-time historical impact Lakers. on the sport, it is, yeah. and, and this is not having to do with his Laker time, but Magic Johnson also played in and won the most famous and significant college basketball game that completely revolutionized the dream way March team. Madness. He created March Madness. He was on the dream team, and he and Larry Bird ushered the NBA into an entirely new era.